Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Liberation. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're back in San Danger. I took a nice chunk off. Hey, that guy is drunk. He won't even notice. Or perhaps he's just thinking about his troubles. Nope. <sighs> no, my things. Whoa. Calm down, frame rate. Something I've been meaning to test. One of the things I, uh, always enjoyed about Assassin's Creed specifically was that, uh, even in-universe, it's all explicitly a digital simulation. Which means that, uh... Wait, where am I going? That was the wrong button. Which means if I decide to wreak havoc like in, uh, say, any other open world game... Ah, oh, yeah, so many things to do. All the way back here. Looks like I need to meet up with, uh, Agate. Well, let's switch into something more, uh, tolerable, shall we? It's interesting. I wonder if you just can't be the lady out here? But yes, the, uh, the thing I liked was that if I decide to go around murdering people in this one for no reason, it doesn't matter, because none of these people are real, even in the universe of the game. I was disappointed by how you know, severely this has been curtailed in the last few Assassin's Creed games. The only way you can kill innocent people in, uh... Ah. Sorry, I had to whack the mic, had to adjust that again. In uh, Assassin's Creed 4, was to uh, shoot them in the face with your guns, because you get a free aiming mode. If I remember correctly... Ha! You can do it in aiming mode in Assassin's Creed 3. And away I go. Let's check out this skull thing. Don't worry, folks. She'll respawn in a few moments, and everything will be fine. She'll probably be pissed off, though, so I should get out of here. I'm trying to think of it. Even that gator would have respawned. Damn. Let's not just shatter the uh, illusion that completely, shall we? Hello? Who are you? It's our old friend, the Hoongan. Aveline, I had hoped you would return. What is the matter with these poor souls? It is an infection. They believe it is a curse. But in truth, only a medicine drawn from a rare fungi will save them. How can I help? The fungi is fixing to collect. Like the riddle says, Dang or dangerous, high or low, where none dare tread, the fungi grow. And of late, I lack agility, if not daring. Say no more. I will find it for you. I know of a place you may find some. Please hurry. You may guess. need to cut more than once before you have enough. Please hurry means there's a timer. Shit. 
It's because those guys are just right there forever if I hadn't uh, gone to talk to the guy. But now that I have, they have three minutes to live. Oh shit. Well, that was handy. Oh shit. Oh god! Do not want. And we're running. This might be a little easier if I had a map in this region. What the? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, move your arse, woman! At least you know how to go down. God damn it. Waja! Abeline, just in time. Please, can you help me give them the medicine? I am afraid it may take a little uh, force. With the fever, they are not of the right mind. You that are was... certain this will work? I am not in the habit of harming civilians. That was non canon, guys. I am certain. And observe. Under the fever's influence, they are hardly civil. I like this. And, uh, oh, th those moves they were doing in the previous Assassin's Creed games, that's how. Uh, there was only one kind of poison, and it made people dance around for a while and swing out at imaginary monsters before, uh. just dropping dead. It didn't just, you know. Th that's why I, I. Actually, in the previous games, I never upgraded to fast poison, which seems to be where we start in this one. Because the whole point of it is to create a diversion, not to just kill these people. This is for your own good, sir! Oh, everything's dark. Ah, good. They will thank you later, one day. Please, there are many others who will need your help. If you can find more mushrooms, you will find no shortage of patients who need it. All right. Excellent. Is this a chest? No. Now there is also an alligator egg nearby. So, you know, since we're just doing random shit. Thought there was. Hmm. Okay, what's that? Well, let's just grab that and get out of here. Starting to get more open worldy. I like that. The uh. Oh, well, thanks to all the people who've been uh, engaging with me in the comments. You know, it's always nice to see. Uh. Ooh. What are you doing? Just slip around the. Oh, I see. No, wrong side. Son of a bitch. You know what? I didn't want that anyway. <laughs> Let's go uh, try that again. Uh. It's nice to see people actually responding to the things I say. How do I get her to... What if I face this way? Ah! No? Are those just painted on? Fine. No, not that. Fuck! 
Like I said, the controls in Assassin's Creed games tend to be a bit fidgety sometimes. But, uh, oh, there's the egg. Surely they can't climb trees. I'm gonna guess that flashing skull means hey, there's a dude over here dying of bayou fever. Actually, no, fuck that. We came over here to do that, so we're gonna do that. People responding to my comments about the uh, hacking and the uh, Aveline's ability to free run. Your luggage! I hate when the sound effect doesn't play. It comes up every once in a while in every game. Nothing personal. But if I get all of them, I get something special. Don't worry, the rest of them are still there, and just like that woman I callously murdered, he'll uh, respawn sooner or later. I'd like to acknowledge, uh... Well, someone, uh whose name I forget, but I will append to the end of this episode, uh, informed me that, uh, I was mistaken. The, uh, undoing Abstergo's edit did not send me back in time. The, uh... <sighs> the only reason... I can't just drop down and punch him? Okay. Here is your medicine, ma'am! Ah! Uh, I guess I'm the giving tree. Either that or I'm Groot. I'm supposed to loot her. How terrible would that have been? <laughs> Here's my fee. There's nothing there. <laughs> Maybe this fire is fast travel. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's this stupid thing. I tried that one already. Fuck! Yes, I haven't gone back in time. We're just, uh... The, the edit just showed me the way that conversation between Baptiste and, uh, Deferre really played out. There's gotta be a way up. It's gotta be about the trees surrounding it, if it isn't about that tree. No? Nothing here? What is the point of this one, then? I guess maybe for once they just put a tree in, for the sake of putting a tree in. So I don't have to kill Baptiste again. If I'd known that, I would have put his picture on the uh, thumbnail for the last video. Actually, I don't really see any reason why I couldn't just go back and change that. Also, a few people commenting on how, uh. on the fact that Aveline and Edward can also uh, do the tree running stuff. And yes, I acknowledge that, uh. Edward would need to be fairly acrobatic as a pirate in order to freely navigate the, uh, the riggings on his ship. 
There you are. I knew it was in this direction. I guess they don't stay on the map unless you're in the area. You know, I'll give you that one. And I suppose it makes sense that uh, Agate could have trained uh, Aveline in order how to how to do this. And the fact of the matter is, they like really played it up in uh, the pre-release marketing for Assassin's Creed 3 that this was something uh, Connor knew how to do because of his heritage, not because he was an assassin. You know, like they're playing the idea that who he is plays a huge part in uh, even playing the game. Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Sup? B A B Y. Does that when I open chests and stuff too? Like the one in there, I can't get at. Sure. I would be happy to help a fellow. Oh no, it's a changing booth. I'm looking for the, uh, store. I'm kind of just running around screwing around right now, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. Uh, to finish the thought I was having earlier, I just feel like it kind of makes, uh, Connor feel less special if these people can do the same thing that he can without his upbringing. I might end up getting that anyway. In uh, previous Assassin's Creed games, there was often a uh, a uh, what the fuck am I trying to say? Like a like a weapons gallery. You can it vis it visually displays all of your weapons and armor and stuff. Over here, so we can get a better view of the region since I can't seem to get to that stupid tree, but whatever. After that, we're gonna go see Agate. I am pleased to see the uh, amount of commentary I get. Most of our people didn't care about uh, some of the games I've done. Or at least they were very quiet about it. Oh shit. Hey, there's fucking canoes over here. I can just use that. I wonder if this is how you get up into that tree. And yeah, it's on the wrong side of town. I'll just steal this canoe and be on my way. I did note the, uh... Cool tip that said, if a crocodile catches you in deep water, you will die instantly. Now then, let's head in the general direction of Agate. Fuck is that? Ah, an egg, I believe. Wonder how many of these there are. I don't think I've even huh. used my gun yet. Yeah, it's an egg. Just wanted to make sure. 
reason that do I have to be in aiming mode to use it? Oh! What the fuck? Maybe the thing would be on sporting. Yeah! <laughs> you were a worthy foe. May your respawn be glorious. Oh. Looks like I spent longer than I thought screwing around. Well then. I'll pick up the next episode when I get to Agate's, or when I find something cool to, uh, let you guys in on. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next Let's Play Assassin's Creed Liberation. When we get back to a bit more focused gameplay. Later! Almost forgot. The commenter who told me about, uh, Baptiste still being dead was Combat Bridget Surge. And the one who reminded me about uh, the acrobatic needs of a pirate was Keegan Spillane. So thanks, guys. Keep up the good work.